What's going on, family? What's going on? What's going down? What's chicken? Welcome to another comic book review. Welcome to another episode of Super Black Comic Book Reviews by Jonathan Soul. Now, I want to talk about this groovy comic series called Black Star Line. It's on the uh, Advent comic book label. Interviewed the brother Tony Cottrell. He's, uh, he hails from Maryland. He started this comic book company about 10 years ago or so. They just celebrated their 10th anniversary. The brother sells comics from various artists and writers on all six continents. All six continents. The brother's really been putting in work. He got a full-time gig, and he's been working this for 10 years. Now, what's so important about this book? Not only does he have the Black Star line, he has a lot of titles on his, uh, he has a lot of titles on under his uh, vibration. Now, the reason why I review comics is because I want to inspire reading in the young people. That's really why. You know what I mean? I, I haven't, I haven't, uh, you know, my kids are grown. They're almost grown. They think they're grown. No, I'm playing. no my kids are grown. And, uh, and so, but when I was little, one of the first things I read was a Thor comic, right? That was a Thor comic. And that kind of helped. You know, with the reading, I didn't know until years later that I had, you know, dyslexia, which I think is, I don't think it's a disability as much as it is. Your brain is just wired a little differently. So I don't think because you left handed and everybody else is right, it's a disability. I just think that, you know, it's wired differently. But what helps me overcome it is repetition. There's no uh, getting around, just doing something over and over again until you get it right. And so reading... Uh, can do that with children who have, you know, you know, with dyslexia, your mind switches the letters around, it switches numbers. Sometimes, you know, I used to say the the word when I read, when I used to read out loud, because I've been reading and practicing so much because of IT. And when I was younger, you know, the comics help. I used to say the words get lost in the corridors of my brain. You know what I mean? <laughs> kind of a thing. So sometimes kids get frustrated in school and you don't know why sometimes it's because they're having difficulty reading kind of thing. Now, when I say it's not a handicap, what I mean is I could listen to audio audiobook. I got 20, give me 21 star Wars audiobooks, And I got other, you know, more businessy. I can listen to those like one and a half speed, you right? Like 150% speed, like fast. You know, if I'm familiar with the material, I can listen double speed and get the comprehension. I can't go faster than that. But I know guys in IT who do three times and they can get the comprehension. So, you know, but when I used to read, you know, it was like mad slow. You know, my daughter teased me. She said, you read like uh, Floyd Mayweather, you know what I mean? Uh, but as you can see with Floyd Mayweather, it's not a handicap with him kind of a thing. So the point is, uh, for, for, for adults who want to, who collect comics, you know, I'm doing this for you guys. And for those of you with children in your life, I want you to get in the read comics. Now, Black Star Line. Black Star Line is an old story. Okay. It starts out here in like ancient Egypt. Okay. It starts out here. The art is a little different. The stories and the characters a little different, but I'm going to start in number two. Cause number two, I think is, is, uh, has something really special about it. And it's this, it's a husband and a wife who are kind of joined in this kind of mystical, in this kind of mystical fashion. They're kind of joined in this mystical fashion. So uh, let's get into it a little bit. All right, so number one, uh, there's a cop named By uh, Byron Montgomery. Okay, he's a cop named Byron Montgomery. And this is the brother right here. He's chasing down uh, someone who happens to be the little brother of a crime boss named uh, Ken. Uh, let's see. The guy's name is uh, uh, King uh, Corso. All right. That's the dun, 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 kind of a thing. Now, when you look at this, you immediately think, okay, this reminds me of the kind of comics or the kind of artwork I might see in the 90s. And that's true. Um, when I look at uh, the, the, the titles on Black Star Line, I get that sense. It's very Marvel-esque. It's very DC-esque uh, kind of a thing. And so, you know, this is like easily approachable if you're trying to wean uh, your kids off of uh, the big two, you know, DC and Marvel. 
and read some stuff by some black creators. Uh, you know, you can see it here. Now, everybody, all the artists in the in the uh, under the Advent umbrella are African American. There's a diverse, uh, you know, group of creators there. Uh, but the captain of the ship is uh, Tony Cottrell. So anyway, so we go over here, and so uh, he catches this uh, criminal uh, kid and everything. And so now, you know, it's funny because uh, Tony works with the fire department, right? If you listen, to, if you go to johnvasold.com, you can find two interviews I did with the brother. And uh, you can get a sense of the progress because he's been putting work in. And uh, so he's an EMT, so he's going to have a more positive, <laughs> you know what I mean, portrayal of the police, which is good. There's some good cops out there and so forth. And, uh, and anyway, so he catches the bad guy or whatever. And uh, now now she's like a, like a defense attorney. Uh, her name is uh, Tyron, uh, Karen, Tyron uh, Cypress, I believe. And so you can see they get married and so forth and... Uh, that was um right so anyway so that's so this is th this thing is happening so this cop and this uh, attorney they, you know they kind of they kind of wed and you can see it's all beautiful and stuff so immediately you're thinking okay if i'm going to get this book it's probably going to be for my niece or daughter or something like that you know even though the boys are dig it too but i think it'll be more special because of of what happens you know what i mean kind of a thing so so now we get introduced to the bad guy and then when I saw this, I immediately thought about Luke Cage because I never liked Luke Cage's costume, right? He had like a chain around his waist and, and iron bands around his forehead and wrist. It reminded me of like a slave or something. So this guy is like a bad Luke Cage kind of guy. And then you have the evil villainous henchwoman, I guess. You know what I mean? A hag type person. Um, but you can kind of see this guy obviously is super strong and so forth. He's a classical bad guy. And so we see... Uh, Miss uh, Cypress in action, but it's so funny. She got married, right? So she corrects the DA. Uh, let's see here. Nice work, Miss Cypress. Uh, I'm growing tired of uh, losing cases. Uh, this makes three this month alone that you've won against me. It's Miss. It's it's Mrs. Mrs. Byron Montgomery, but you already know that Nelson. Blah 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 blah. So they you know, so they kind of go through it, and so so you see the sisters, you know, a professional woman or whatever. And then we kind of get a one pay, a one panel uh, setup of kind of how, you know, their their uh, relationship kind of progressed, which is nice. You know what I mean? It kind of sets us up because if it was too, too much romancy, you might lose some of the brothers. <laughs> you know what I mean? Some of them, you know what I mean? You might lose, except the older guys like myself who might be romantic. So, uh, so, so, you know, so we get this little bit. Now, listen, I'm not going to show you the whole book. I'm not going to show you the whole book. Why? Because I want you to go to the website and I want you to purchase them. And you go to his website. You know, there's different places you can purchase them. You can get the digital from different places. You can get the print, obviously, from different places. I generally buy from IndiePlanet.com. Uh, That's where I usually buy the books, IndiePlanet.com. And, uh, you know, they, about two weeks, you order it. About two weeks later, you get it in your mailbox. And so, uh, so anyway, so we go through it. And so, um, if you remember, he arrested the king, the, the, the King Corso's brother. So now they, they swore a vendetta. And so he's sending the bad guys to the crib and, uh, you know, brother wakes up, you know what I mean? He, he fights him off as any good man would. And, uh, you know, of course they're not armed. And so it doesn't end very well. Now, something happens on a cosmic level. And this is why I think this story is so unique and so beautiful because <clears throat> I've never seen this. You know, poets and, and different artists talk about the divinity of love. Well, in an action comic, you get a taste of it. I'm not going to tell you what happens. I'm not going to show you why because I want you to go to this website and buy the book. But I'll tell you that... Oh, can we see? No, you can't see. So, so what happens is um, uh, so she survives. Okay, she survives, and, uh, you know, she does remember everything that happened, but you know how bad guys are. They want to finish the job. So they come in, and uh, they try to attack her, and guess what happens? Some kind of magical way her husband, a super-powered version of her husband, get called forth when she's under this tremendous amount of stress, and he commits to kicking ass. Now, he doesn't know, you know, all of what's going on. But can I tell you, look at that comic. Look at that. Look at that. Let me stand up for a second. Look at that. 
character design. I just want to be clear. You know what I mean? That's a badass character design right there. You know what I mean? That's badass right there. Look at that character design, yo. That's badass right there. So he kind of goes through and starts, you know, and starts uh, taking these guys out. Now he's new. He doesn't, he do, he's not really clear on everything that's happening. But you can kind of see where this is going. You know what I mean? I didn't think of it at first because this is like the first time I reviewed it, I was doing like live tweets and I was reading. I was like, oh, snap, this is dope kind of a thing. And uh, before I forget, there's a third issue out and the fourth issue is supposed to be off the chain. So this is a collection. Correct me if I'm wrong, Tony, but I think this is more like a collection of stories kind of a thing. Um, because like I said, you know, when we go here, it's more of an ancient Egypt kind of a thing. You know what I'm saying? And, and again, it's, it's, it's a, there's still, you know, some relationships and stuff that gets dealt with, but it's a different type of energy here, you know. Now, imagine your kid, you know, looking at books to, to show him this instead of Superman or Batman. Imagine the, the subconscious impact it has on his psyche, you know, kind of a thing. So, so anyway, so yeah, so it goes forward and so forth, and they arrest the guys. So I'm not going to show you any more. I'm going to tell you, obviously, there's more to the book. But just keep in mind that this is an opportunity for one, for you to encourage reading with your kids. Uh, two, uh, you can spend time with them. You can sit down and read the book with them and explain certain things or whatever. And, uh, and then it's an opportunity to kind of trick them into developing a love of reading because, of course, they're going to need it in school. And all of the professions, the highly skilled professions that you're going to need to make a living in this world require a lot of reading. Okay, you won't graduate from high school with enough skills to sustain yourself in this highly technical economy. You're going to have to learn how to read and get the comprehension. And comics can help that. They, you, can, you can add hours. There's 24 hours in the day. You can get your kid to spend hours reading. You know what I mean? So when they approach the schoolwork or the coursework in college or, or they're going for a certification or whatever it is, they already have the reading muscles exercised. All right. Love you guys. Hope your dreams come true. Support Advent Comics and uh, support uh, this podcast, JonathanSoul.com. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at J-O-H-N-A-T-H-A-N-S-O-U-L uh, on Twitter, uh, BlackJunction.com and .TV. Uh, what's the other one? SoundCloud, uh, iTunes, and of course, JonathanSoul.com. All right. Love you guys. Peace.